this is one of my gangbuster hives down here. This is just a super that I put on last week. Yeah, I'm using the, the drone foundation for honey. They'll pack honey in that. I did that last year and they just pack the honey. So this one down here, looking really, really good. So let's, let's dig in a little deeper, see what we got. This one here, completely capped on this side. And about three quarters of the way capped on this side. A little bit left there. Let's set that one aside. I may let them see if they'll finish up that other side. While I take a look at some other stuff here. Uh -huh, I like the look of this one. to be about the same thing. Three quarters of the way capped. Three quarters of the way capped. Now well, a little over three, probably 90% capped. Really, really liking the look of this. This one not so much. We'll leave definitely gonna leave this one. They got some work to do on that. Yeah, I think they've got some work to do on most of these. Ah, God, that's heavy, but not capped that way. Yeah, this one here's about half capped. And some old queen cells on the top here. That's kind of weird. It must have been something I pulled up from down below. This one here they pulled out nice wide on the top, but they're still working on the bottom. So, right now I only see two that I, potential frames that I'm going to take. I probably should be on the other end. They're all about half. Somewhere near half. We're gonna take Packing in this honey, we're really liking it. Really, really liking this. Man, they're all heavy. Same thing. Beautiful, beautiful honey. Might do. Take a look at this edge one. Might just take those two and call it a day. Let's see what that gets me for honey. Beautiful honey, but it, but again, about three quarters away. This side over here is a little over half. This side here is not quite half, actually. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to take those first two that we uh, looked at and just leave the rest. Beautiful. We're liking this honey harvest. We are, I was so nervous when we went through that dry spell here. Here, here in central Maine, we had a dry spell that was... Uh, three four weeks of absolutely no rain and it was it was just nasty 
Um, you know what? The more I look at that, this side's complete. You know what? I don't think I am going to take anything out of this today. I think I'm going to let them see if they can fill this other side out. This side's completely capped. Looks beautiful. But this side, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if they'll fill that up for me. So we'll go ahead and put this right back in here. We can make some room for them so I don't squish anything. But I do want to get down underneath here and take a look at these other. <clears throat> See what they're doing. Boy, that's gonna be heavy. Uh, yeah, they're packing that in too down below. I'm not even gonna dig in. God, that's heavy. Uh, all right. Just line back up. So yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, and they're starting to put honey in this one too. So. I think if this keeps going, we're going to go from what we thought was a, uh, a really bad honey year to uh, yet again the best I've had. So again, I'm a small, small beekeeper. I don't have a lot of hives. Um, I've got a total of 11. Um, last year I had six and I took honey out of four. This year I've got 11. I'm hoping to take honey out of, you know, between six and eight, uh, preferably eight, because I want to get up to about 500 pounds of honey. But uh, let's take a look at some of these other hives. Just while we're down here. Let's see what's going on here? Oh, this one doesn't have much going on in it. I can leave that in there, yeah. This one, it's still building up down below. I've, I've just got these honey I gotta get some uh, some uh, stuff down here for the ants. But this one here is still building up. They're not even, they might be up into this one. These ones are completely empty. They should be starting to move up though pretty soon. This one is still building up. I don't know if I, get, I probably won't get any honey out of that this year. And then this one is my other fairly good one. It was the other day at least. Let's take a look and see what we got. We got bees up top. That's a good thing. That in there. Yeah, and I can see right now they're they're packing. I'm not even gonna get into them. Um, I took some some drone frames and brought them. I, I made sure the queen was down below, and then I put the uh, the brood uh, the brood frames up here. So when the brood hatches out, uh, they'll just backfill it with honey. But they still got stuff hatching out here. So. Looking pretty good, really, really happy. So, um, I've got, turn you around without making you sick, I apologize. The one down below there, that one there should be, they're, they're just starting to come up into the uh, honey super as well. So, out of everything down here, I'm expecting to get a lot of honey out of this one. Preferably, you know, possibly up to two, two deeps. I might get a, a shallow or medium out of that one there. That one there, I'm looking to get two deeps plus some shallows, shallows and mediums by the end of the year. So that one there is going to be a gangbuster one. And what I've got for a food source down here is right now we're in, in the milkweed season. And uh, you wouldn't know it, or maybe you do, but milkweed makes a really mild and a pleasant honey. Uh, they, they do really good with the nectar. Um, earlier this year, I was down here and I mowed everything down because there was just so much dead uh, overgrowth that really nothing could grow. So I, I mowed it and raked it all down and this milkweed shot up overnight and uh, uh, it's providing an excellent source of food or nectar for these bees. So that's, that I'm hoping to get, is, is gonna be my driving force from this field. So let's go ahead and take a look up the other field and see what's going on. Okay, so we're up here in the primary yard. I'm gonna walk down, take a look at all my fruit trees. Got the garden down there with the blueberries. The blackberries are come, setting on. Fruit trees are, yeah, so-so this year. I don't expect to get too much out of them. 
Got a little cherry tree here that had one cherry. Hopefully my wife came down and got it, or that or a bird did. Uh, we got the grapevines down there that are doing, one, one type's doing phenomenal, the other type uh, pretty much dead on arrival. But uh, let's dig into some of these beehives here, see what we got. It's always a good sign when you have to pry the inner cover off because the bees have got it all sealed up. But yeah, you can see all that nice fresh capped honey. Let's see if we can pull out a couple of frames. Let's set this down. I'll just have to do some editing. Yeah, so we, all that beautiful fresh capped honey. I'm running into the same thing where it's about, you know, half to three quarters of the way capped over. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just leave them all again. As much as I'd really want some honey, you know, as much as I really, really want it. Let me take a look at one more. So this one I could definitely take. She is just plum, 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 packed and capped. We liking that. So uh, we know that this one's ready, but I need to have at least two to go in my extractor. I don't need, but I prefer two. So let's go ahead and we'll be really, really liking this. Let's see what else we get down in here. I'll try to do this one-handed. See what we got. Again, two-thirds of the way cap. I don't want to take it. And that still looks the way that's the way all these are. So we got one that's ready to go. We could probably take some honey out of these others and the moisture content would be down enough. But I... Holy cow, is that one heavy? It's just stuck. Yeah, we're getting the same thing. They're just packing it in. And uh, we're really liking how they're doing this. So again, there you see all that cap honey. Really, really like it. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to try to seal this back up. We'll look at one more hive. So I know I could take one frame out of here, but we'll wait. You know, we want the honey, but we don't want it so bad that we're going to end up with a moisture content that's higher than we want. And so uh, that, we just don't want to exert ourselves extracting honey. You know, half frames instead of whole frames. So let's seal this back up. Yeah, so over, oh, after looking at that last one, I, I might be a little bit overconfident as to what it can produce, but um, this one here has got a bunch of honey in it. These ones down here got a little bit. That one I just threw on just, just to get it out of the way. So, uh, But overall, I think we're pretty happy. We're doing really, really good. And sorry about that. Let me turn this around. We're doing really good. We're, we're pretty happy with that, how things are going. Um, if you look over here, I've got my little experiment going on. And I probably need to put entrance reducers on those just to kind of help separate them. But I've got three queens, one in each of those, two, three, and four. And then a medium on top of the deep. That, that's the brood box. And then I've got the honey super on top. i got to get another five frame honey super for the other end. And uh, what I might do is actually take this one, slide it over, and just zigzag the, the honey supers along the top. So you've got all four queens uh, working with a, with a common honey source or honey storage supers but we'll see how that goes but, uh, anyways that's all we got for now folks let me turn this around that's that's all we got for now uh not quite as exciting as i want it to be but that's all right uh honey season is going the honey flow is still going moving forward uh so hopefully we're still hoping for 500 pounds of honey we'll we'll see that funny thing about that honey flow that spigot shuts off just as fast as it turns on. So it's all based on the weather. So we'll see how things go. But anyways, thanks for watching.